Have you ever felt the pressure of the world against you? Have you ever had the knowledge that millions of people hate you for your personality and mistakes? Have you ever received thousands upon thousands of death threats each day? Have you ever had millions of people watching you every day waiting for you to slip up and fall from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows? If you have, you may be called Jake Paul. This is the rocky career of Jake Paul. Hello everybody, it's Flippy here, welcome back to another video on the channel. I've kind of forgotten how to record videos at this point, but we're back. And it's 2022, we're gonna go ham this year. So, um, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content, and I'm also, go I'm also gonna be focusing on making sure my content is higher quality this year than they were last year. I wasn't too happy with the content I was putting out last year, so I'm just gonna be putting more and more effort into these videos now. So, yes, hello. Uh, today we're talking about the Rocky career of Jake Paul so let's just skip everything get straight into it and since this video is going to be very long I'm asking at the start um, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this uh, please make sure to like and subscribe all right thank you so we're gonna skip like all the boring stuff because if chances are if you're here watching this video you know who the fuck Jake Paul is and you have your own opinion on him like there's no need for me to tell you about where he's from and shit. So in this video we're specifically going to be talking about his controversies he's had in his career over the past like five years um, and how he's managed to recover his career in the time since then. And you know I'm not gonna lie to you I don't like Jake Paul he's done things that can only let him be described as a prick but it's undeniable to say that He's very entertaining. It's every day, bro. So we're gonna start this about four years ago on one of the most infamous videos on the platform. Um, it's every day, bro. So four years ago, he released the song every day, bro, obviously, um, which rapidly started gaining views and imploding on the platform, but probably not for the reason Jake Paul originally wanted. This is also around the time that Jake Paul would end up releasing his first diss track on his brother, Logan Paul. So a few hours after Jake Paul uploaded Everyday Bro, Keemstar would make a tweet where he states, Yeah, just watched the Jake Paul music video. I seriously fear for the future of YouTube and music. Laugh my fucking ass off. So swiftly after this tweet, when Jake Paul saw it, he would end up blocking Keemstar on Twitter. And then the day after, May 31st, Keemstar would release a drama alert video, bringing him more and more into the spotlight of commentary channels and big YouTubers like PewDiePie and such. So early June, YouTubers such as PewDiePie, iDubs and H3H3 would all make videos on Jake Paul talking and taking the piss out of him and the song he made. And then literally just a month after the song's release, it would become one of the top 10 most disliked videos on the platform. But this was only the start for the hate train coming for Jake Paul. Okay, for just this section, I'm going to give like a quick little trigger warning to people because this section will cover domestic and emotional abuse. So I just thought I should give a little warning for that. So on the 9th of June 2017, so about a week after Jake Paul had uploaded Every Day Bro, Jake Paul's ex-girlfriend Alyssa Violet would release an expose where it was basically just exposing him for being a bit abusive. The video was called what you have been waiting for, where she would talk about her experience with Jake Paul while being his girlfriend. She accused Jake of cheating on her with other women openly and that he would ignore, belittle and manipulate her to get her to do the things that he wanted. Now, however, Jake Paul stated that these claims were false because they were never officially dating. Alyssa said in her video that there were days where Jake would say he loves her and then bring a girl home that night and Alyssa said that she would cry herself to sleep most nights because of it. And because of this, Alyssa states that eventually I started treating Jake the same way he did me and he didn't like it and he kicked me out. Since then, Jake Paul has basically been labelled an abuser in some people's minds. Um, and, you know, Jake at first denied all these accusations pretty much immediately, but eventually he started owning up to the things he had done. Paul fire. So around a month later, mid-July, things were only going to get worse for Jake when his brother Logan would fire back a diss track and it was featuring his ex-girlfriend Alyssa Violet, uh, who we had just talked about. 
During the same time, Jake Paul in a vlog would throw furniture into an empty swimming pool and light it on fire. Yes, I'm not fucking joking when I tell you this. And it led to the LA Fire Department needing to come and put a fire out. We've done a lot of dumb things. This is the dumbest thing we've ever done. Here, he burns furniture in his backyard that erupts into a towering inferno. He also lights his mattress on fire to roast marshmallows. Flames spread so quickly, the mattress has to be thrown in the pool. It's also around this time where Jake Paul would start getting loads of media attention. And this is also where Jake Paul's neighbors started looking at taking a class action lawsuit against him. Due to all the negative attention Jake Paul was getting, he ended up getting fired from his Disney show, Bizarre Vark, um, during the middle of its second season. Offensive tweets. So, after going back through some of his old tweets, in 2017, people found a tweet from 2012 where Jake insulted a Twitter user, calling him gay and the f -sler. He also proceeded to call him the n-word. It did come out that the Twitter user was white, but obviously that doesn't make anything he said the slightest bit better. But because Jake has a younger audience, he got away with this controversy with his supporters saying he was too young to understand the effects that his words had on others. <sighs> and while, yeah, your adult self is likely very different from your teenage self, I'm fucking hoping I'm different in fucking 10 years time. Fucking hell. And, you know, I don't necessarily support people's lives being ruined off mistakes they've made a long time ago, but this, like, the space between these, between him getting exposed and when he did it, it was only five years. You know, and his, fa his fans shouldn't, even though he was, Jake was 15 at the time, that's old enough to know right from wrong. You know what I mean? Like, you're not a fucking idiot by 15. Well, you are an idiot, but you're more socially aware by 15. Um, and his fans shouldn't have treated him like he didn't understand right and wrong, but they did. And, you know, it's young fans for you. Um, and it should also be noted hear that Jake Paul has also recorded himself and put it in vlogs of where he's called his fans things such as terrorists based on their ethnicity and such. Right in there. Hi. Man, can you put this on vlog, please? Bro? Yes. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan originally, but... Oh. It sounds like you're just gonna blow someone up. Thank you so much. You're like, send the nuke! Where you make Scamming fans. Jake Paul has also been accused multiple times of scamming his young, impressionable audience, which... It's kind of fucked up, Jake. Uh, the first educational program he made, and I put educational program in quotes, um, it was called Edfluence, uh, and it was said to instruct people on how to be an influencer. Oh, fuck's sake, I hate that word. Um, and it was to make money online like he does, you know? Um, and it was launched in 2018, um, and it was supposed to be like a couple videos fans could buy for like, seven dollars that would give them the ultimate roadmap to online success so they can be you know the next fucking pewdiepie or some shit you know what i mean but that seven dollars didn't actually unlock everything that it was said meant like meant to and it turned out that ye to unlock everything that would actually help you it would cost another 57 dollars and bear in mind, the videos you unlocked with the seven dollars, the tips, like short tip videos, like have a phone. What the fuck? Nah, I never knew I'd need a phone. Fucking hell. And then Jake Paul also promised in this program that the people who were subscribed to it or whatever would have the chance to join like a bigger version of Team Ten called Team One Thousand. Um, and you know, this just made like it made it feel like he was just, you know, ringing his audience out for money, milking them, and it, what, it was that, it was, it's very clear to see that's what it was, you know, and the site has since been taken down, and the fans that did pay for the videos can no longer access them, so it's like, those people are basically, like, I think, how much is that, like, 57 plus 7 dollars, I'm shit at math, so like, 64 dollars down, that's a lot of money to a kid, and if they're, you know, if those tips don't help them, they're going to feel like that's their fault for just being bad at YouTube, and then they're not going to pursue that in the future, you know? But this has already been covered, so you can see tons of commentary videos talking about this if you just search out. Okay, now we're going to get into the boxing. This is the start of the recovery of his career. This is how he started to be able to progress and become more and more liked by people and win some people over. So, 
we fly forward now to August 25th, 2018, where Jake Paul would begin his fighting career, fighting the YouTuber Deji um, on a main card with their older brothers, Logan Paul and KSI, but you probably already know this, let's be honest. Um, and in the lead up to the fight, most people wanted Jake Paul to lose, but they felt like they were going to win, and they were right. Uh, this fight wasn't you know, free of any controversy. I mean, during the press conference, they had things like fucking paint cans and shit thrown at them, which, I mean, listen, they're dickheads. But do you need to risk their health? Probably not. And he's on Gibb versus Jake Paul. So we fly even further into the future now, because after these fights, he was kind of quiet. He was just calling people out and, like, being his rowdy self, you know. So on December 20th, 2019, it was announced by Design that Jake Paul would make his professional debut against uh, fellow YouTuber Andy Song Gibb, who was also having his professional debut. And Jake Paul ended up winning this fight by TKO in the first round and proceeded to call out KSI straight after. And I think from this point, although it's against a YouTuber, it's clear to see Jake has something there. Like, or, and if not good boxing ability, at least power, you know. It's not easy to knock someone out. Well, I guess he didn't knock him out. He put him on his ass three times. But, you know, it's like, that's still difficult to do. You know what I mean? Boxing is where Jake Paul would just really start recovering his career, having fight after fight over the next two years, um, with people starting to find the way he makes fun of his opponents in his press conferences and such funny. Uh, while also knocking out opponents such as Nate Robinson, Ben Askren, and Tyron Woodley twice. And it's also during this two-year time where Jake Paul would create his own foundation called Boxing Bullies, giving kids a chance to have the same outlet he has. Um, he started this because he was a bully in school, and he wants to make that right. So he says. Jake Paul would also create a boxing promotion company called Most Valuable Promotions, where he would sign a uh, boxer, Amanda Serrano. And all of this combined, it started to make people less and less hate Jake Paul and win more and more people over and start sort of see him as like a Conor McGregor type person, you know, like the whole taking the piss out of his people he's fighting and stuff like that, mocking people and stuff like that. Like, it's sort of in that same kind of group now, you see what I mean? Um, now, don't get me wrong, I still think Jake Paul is an absolute toss pot. I have to say, I still think he's a toss pot, but seeing everything he's doing at the moment is quite entertaining, I must say. And you have to credit him as well for how he's trying to get Dana White to pay his fighters more. You have to respect that. The UFC supposedly doesn't pay their fighters enough, and I mean, some fighters have complained about this, and he's trying to make that right. Court just recently had called out Masvidal and said he'd fight in the UFC if Dana had agreed to terms to pay the fighters more and stuff. And, I mean, that's fair. I think that's fair, to be honest. I mean, I don't think... Dana won't take it. There's no chance Dana will take it. Don't get me wrong. But putting that there, right, you got to think, the, uh, the fighters in the UFC are going to be like, go on, take it, fam. Like, you know what I mean? Like, take that. Pay us more. They're going to get pissed off with him. It's a smart move, to be fair. But anyway... That's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I, if it seemed like I was fucking off Jake a bit at the end there, I don't mean to. Like, I, once again, I still don't really like him. But he's being entertaining at the moment, man. It's kind of fun to watch, I can't lie. And you have to credit him for the whole foundation he's made and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been around on YouTube. Like, actively, really. I mean, I haven't made a video in, like, three months now. I want to get back and I want to be active and I'm trying to this year, it's one of my New Year's resolutions and I know people don't fucking stick to them, I'm trying, right? Um, and I am really motivated to hit my goals for this year and I do want to try and reach monetization on this channel, try and hit 2k or even further and yeah, we'll see where that goes. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And what do you think down in the comments below? Do you think that Jake Paul deserves to be forgiven for his past actions, or can you not look past it? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.